So there's really no trick to this. We're just gonna go for healing and... I don't know. I guess we'll try and top damage, but we're not gonna do it. Because Disc Priest very rarely can top damage. But, I don't know if you're on the right build. I mean, there's some chances, but... Anyway, flash my talents. I'll flash my talents one more time for the homies. There we are. And let's get to it. Let's help you out, Shad. Chad. Mad. Let's see. I'm just gonna fear as soon as you start using Convoke, my guy. Start using Convoke the Spirits. What are you doing? We'll use Thought Steal on you. Or not. Whatever. Atonement. We're fine. We're totally fine. Nah, he's gonna Cyclone. This guy's actually kind of smart, dude. I'm a little, little bit scared. You bet he missed his second Cyclone, you god dang dummy. Ah, oh, we're dead. Nah, no, nah, we're not dead. Heal me, other healers, please. Hey, we're fine. We're fine. I wasn't concerned there. In the least bit. I just want to burst someone now, man. To use non-buffed. Oh, penance. You know, still hitting for, you know, penance numbers. So I think the ultimate downfall to Disc Priest, and this is like every time I play Disc Priest, this is like what gets me killed. Just going out of mana, which is, I don't know, when it, it's a good healer spec when, you know, the biggest problem you have with it is just running out of mana. Just want to use Thought Steal on someone, and Thought Steal, or sorry, I always say Thought Steal, the actual ability name is Mind Games, guys, I'm so sorry, but I really like using Mind Games as a Disc Priest, mainly because it just does a good bit of damage, and if you run Schism, Schism with Mind Games, is it Thought Steal Mind Games, we're, we're, we're just going to, like, make a post-it note and attach it to my forehead right before I go to bed so I never fuck up mind games ever again. But anyway, if you run Schism and Thought Steal, it can hit for a good bit. I was doing it in a battleground, I think we had like four healers, so that's why I was running like a DPS build, but was running Schism, Thought Steal build. It was hitting pretty hard. I mean, 1.2 thousands as a healer in the level 59 bracket is pretty good in my opinion. Times like these, I wish I had Schism too. Because what am I really doing here? Just pressing Smite on everyone over and over again. There's Convoke the Spirits. You will totally live here, Hunter. Get a Shadow Mend. Oh, hey. Hey there, Feral Druid. So we fear both of you guys. Get Atonement up. Throw a Purge the Wicked on these guys. Get a Rapture going. And we are fine. Good stun. Get a Shadow Mend. Another... Good old overpowered bubble here. Let's use powered radiance just for fun here. See if we can one shot this guy. 2.9k non crit. Let's use thought steal on him. It might just one shot. So close, so close. There we are. Someone else actually attacked him. Who would have thought? Who would have thought that a DPS attacking a flag carrier would kill him? God, good luck, shaman. Good luck, man. By the way, 40% damage reduction. And let me kind of explain the title, which will definitely be 40% damage reduction and nothing else. Um, so, Disc Priest. In BFA and all of BFA, we had Focus Will, but it could only stack up to one time. That is now gone, guys. Now as a Disc Priest, you can get Focus Will to stack up twice. And two Focus Will stacks is 30% damage reduction. And then we have this thing called Masochism. When you cast Shadow Mend on yourself, its damage over time effect heals you instead and reduces all damage you take by 10%. So let me go grab a Restoration buff real quick. Fuck you, Mage. And we'll show you guys. So again, 30% damage buff from Inner Will or Inner Focus or whatever the fuck it's called. Focus Will. I don't even know. And somehow the Water Elemental hit me through a fucking wall. Good job, Blizzard. But 30% damage reduction through that. And then... I mean, whenever I get hit or, or, yeah, whenever I start getting focused by an enemy, we'll throw up a Shadow Mend on myself, and then we'll get that sweet, sweet 40% damage reduction. We'll save you, Demon Hunter, even though your class is, you know, literally worthless. There we are. Feel like a good person. It's like, it's like helping, it's like taking a stray kitten off the street, just healing a Demon Hunter. It's like, I know nothing else good is going to come to you, so I did my deed for the day. Still waiting to get focused. Oh, lines. Your will to know... So you're the, the, the will of yours to win battlegrounds is... Knows no bounds. 
Have they given up? I'm getting bored, man. I'd like a team fight. I guess we should grab a Berserking then if we really want to get focused. We do need another restoration buff, though. I'd like to point that out still. Let's go grab one. Oh, hey, uh, monk. How many stacks do you have? Not many. Let's throw mind games on you. You look like you need some 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 games. 2.8k non-crit. Not bad, not bad. Kind of wish our damage over time did a little bit more. I feel like our damage over time kind of got gutted. I'd like to see it do like the same damage as, say... I don't know. Maybe like an Affliction Warlock damage over time. Something along those lines, but... That's fine. That's fine. So no one's taking damage, man. And I'm not picking up a flag. Who do you think I am? I still have my noble roots. Gonna fuck up this pally, hopefully. Go get him, Demon Hunter. Please. There we are. There's the penance. And he runs into middle. Fucking madman. And he's a healer, too. I don't know what that guy was thinking. Do we grab Berserking just for the lols? Grab some fucking orbs, people. God damn it, I guess. I guess I'll play the objective. Go get them. Here, we'll, we'll kill the flag carrier. Orb carriers, whatever they're called. You fool, mage. Okay. <laughs> he, he just really flops there. He really flops there. Damn. Okay, now I grab orbs. I grab the orbs now and do the thing the other healer wanted me to do. Which ones are up? Green? Okay. By the way, this is by far the worst battleground. By far. However, I have been getting like, I don't know what it, like, I, I swear random battlegrounds aren't actually just random and like, it's on an hourly timer. I'll, I'd put money on this. It's on like an hourly timer, so every hour it changes. So a certain hour of the day, you'll just get Twin Peaks endlessly. Certain hour of the day, you'll just get, you know, some other random battleground endlessly. I really feel like that's a thing. You don't see shit, Druid. You don't see shit. Throw a thought steal on ya. Totally gonna live here, Monk. I believe. Throw Shadowfiend on this guy, too. Because I do need just the mana from Shadowfiend. Don't really need the healing. Really just sent him out there for the mana. Does give a good bit, too. I don't know, whenever I use Shadowfiend to get mana back, it makes me think Mindbender is not too bad. Just kidding, we don't have Mindbender, lol. Oh, no, we do. 0.5, but this generates 1%. Maybe Mindbender is not better than. The main reason I like Shadowfiend, though, not the damage. I mean, of course it's the damage, but... The mana. The mana's just too good. The main reason I take Powered Solus, too. I mean, the mana you get back from it is just OP. We'll hit directly into that karma. I just don't give a shit. We'll use pain suppression on him as well. Have yet to actually showcase that 40% damage reduction that we were talking about at one point, but you know what? Fuck it. We don't we don't need to show the damage. Don't mind me, just a disc priest killing Windwalker monks that try and run in the flag. Flag room, flag middle, whatever you want to call it. Uh Probably shouldn't be playing here. We we are an orb carrier after all. Yeah, <laughs> that's what happens when you play not with your team with the orb. Let's wrap this up. Oh, oh, oh GG. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, description, bell thing. Check out Twitch. Check out Twitter. Gained like 3k XP slash honor on this guy for the endless amount of battlegrounds I've been queuing. And I'm not upset in the least bit. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Take it easy.